Lift Leaners, when we come back, I'm going to share with you my top lean muscle building protein sources. Stay tuned. Hey Live Leaners, I'm Brad Guthrie, author of Awaken the Abs Within, creator of the Live Lean Afterburn System, and your host of Live Lean TV. On today's episode, we're talking protein. Protein! Yeah, buddy. Protein comes from the Greek word of prime importance. It's responsible for building lean muscle, which will increase your metabolism, it'll help you balance your body's fat storing hormones, and it'll keep you feeling fuller longer. In addition to this, protein has the highest thermogenic effect of any macronutrient. In other words, your body burns up to 30% of the calories in that protein source just to digest it. So for example, if you consumed 100 calories of protein, your body would burn off 30 of those calories just to digest it, leaving your body with only 70 calories. Building lean sexy muscle, burning more calories sounds like the perfect food for living lean. Here are the protein sources that I consume. We have beef, we have chicken, turkey, eggs, pork, fish, and protein powder. These sources have the highest biological value, meaning the body absorbs it best, and it's a full, complete protein. This means it contains all the essential amino acids your body requires from food. So don't be fooled when you look at the nutrition label of conventional bread and see it contains six grams of protein. It's not a complete protein because it doesn't contain all the essential amino acids. Also, it's best to try to consume a different protein source with each meal and snack. So for example, don't drink six protein shakes a day or eat six servings of chicken because each protein source has a different amino acid profile, so it's really important to mix up your sources. Now you're probably asking, what about dairy? What about Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, and dairy milk? Well, over the last six months, I've cut dairy out of my diet. A lot of people have intolerances to the lactose, to the casein, and most conventional sources of dairy are pumped full of unnatural hormones, pesticides, and antibiotics. Dairy doesn't need to be an essential part of your diet, but if it is, make sure you're consuming raw, organic types of Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, and try to stay away from homogenized and 2% milk and skim milk. Now, I've also been getting a lot of questions from you vegetarians out there who I love, and I'll be 100% upfront. I don't claim to be an expert on being a vegetarian, so I'm not the best person to ask for advice. So in the video description below and on my blog, I'm gonna put a link to a recipe book that is purely vegetarian, and it will help you meet your protein requirements. So as you can tell from this video and the Greek meaning of protein of prime importance, get more of it in your diet. That's it for today's episode. For more info on this, check out my website, bragauthorfitness.com. And while you're there, be sure to sign up and receive your free copy of my Live Lean Starter Guide, including free workouts, recipes, and my 10 steps to healthy eating. Thanks for watching, guys. In the comment section below, let me know what your favorite protein sources are. Mine are eggs. And be sure to click the like button to support this channel and subscribe to never miss another episode. Next video, we're gonna be talking about healthy fat sources. We'll see you then, guys. Live Lean. All right, thanks again for watching this video, guys. If you wanna see more videos, watch me how I make my tilapia pizza by clicking on that thumbnail to the left of the subscribe button or my high intensity your body workout to the right of the subscribe button and make sure you click that subscribe button to subscribe for future videos.